what's up y'all it's Ari thank you for tuning in for another episode of Ari TV sorry I'm not watching you because I'm watching the road I am driving I'll be honest um and I am coming to Jack in the Box <laughs> because I needed some tacos real quick I was working on some shirts and I was like okay I'm done with this but I need tacos so now I am so literally the plan when I get back to my house I'm just going to work on my under the bed storage I'm gonna clean out this um, little rubber made like drawer situation I couldn't I don't know what it's called right now but I'm gonna clean this out uh, and I have like my underwear and my bras so I have my underwear and my bras and like my tank tops in there but I'm gonna clean it out and use it for some Messiah stuff so I'm gonna put like my underwear and my bras and stuff under the bed uh, Hopefully that makes sense. Like, hopefully that's not a stupid decision, Aria. Like, please don't be dumb. So we'll see if that's actually logical or that's dumb. Cause we don't. I don't know. So okay, y'all. Yeah. Got the goods. Exciting. I'm Ari. Fire. And this is our life. Okay, y'all. Yeah. So this is the little contraption I was talking about three drawer carts <laughs> so it does it have wheels it should have wheels but it does not have wheels on it currently so i'm gonna take my stuff out of here and put it in these bins and go from that i have uh, currently under my bed i have a bin with shaving cream and douches i got feet scraper tampons a bin with pads in there I've been with these bed pads in there for when it is my time of the month. I don't want to have no uh, issues. Currently on this other side, we have a box that is dusty as hell. Um, see more bins on this side. Uh, this basket that has my bras laying in there like this. And then some pairs of boots back over here. Let me go to the other and side. Then last. And then last but not least, I have my door lock, books from college, a thing that I need to get rid of, virtual reality thing, whatever. Um, in this bin, we have sports bras and just workout shirts, I guess. Um, in this bin, supposed to be socks. In this bin, I have extra towels, as you saw my bathroom. Uh -huh my bathroom thing and so yeah like i said there's boots on that side books all up there and my bras over there and then yeah so i got i mean i got a good amount of space under here so i can rock it out i guess let me get from under this bed and we could talk better that's maybe better we could talk better when i'm like this so yeah anyways um i'm gonna try and just get it all situated i'm gonna leave my bras actually in there because i just put my bras into that and i started putting um some of the kids clothes into this drawer just piling some of the girls clothes in there so um yeah that's what i'm gonna do i got tank tops in here panties in here so i got some work to do so i'm going to work on this and i'm gonna talk to y'all about uh something too while we're here First things first, I did not like these collapsible things, uh, collapsible storage bins from the Dollar Tree. Because they just get like all wonky, like how this one is. It's all not a cube no more, like not quite a cube no more. <laughs> so this works. I got some Love Men's Socks from Express. Like, why do I have these socks from Express? I don't know. But that's my uh, crazy shopping addiction that I just cannot seem to. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. So that's that. That was easy peasy lemon squeezy. This, I'm just about to pour this up in here too because um, I'm about to go for this for you. I might need two containers for this stuff. Shirts. So workout, workout shirts, workout gear. We still had a tag on them. I've been working out. 
I've been working out because they still got the tag. So I don't know. I don't know what that mean. I don't know if that mean I was working out or not. <sighs> Fucking Q-tip. Why do I have a Q-tip in there? Like, are you okay? Little Nike shirt. It's blue though. Ooh. So yeah, I think that I'm going to put. This is cute. This is not supposed to be in there. Um, I think that I'm gonna put the sports bras in here and one, and then put like. <laughs> More work I get with tags. <laughs> I will put the sports bras in this one and I'm going to put like the workout shirts and stuff like that into um, another one. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Bro, every freaking thing has a tag on it still. <laughs> do I be working at or not? <laughs> Like, what do I be doing? Do I be working out or not? I guess not. <laughs> I have, this is a little set. That's cute. Cute little Nike set. What is that? Last season? Last season? You don't know how to dress? <laughs> okay. Okay. So maybe I should fold them. All right, let's see. I just do a quick little. Should I roll them or should I fold them? Let me see. Because I'm like, how would I roll them? Okay, let's roll it. Let's see, don't hurt nothing to roll it. So I usually get a lot of my sports wear or active wear uh, from Nike and from Victoria's Secret. That's what most of, most of it is Victoria's Secret. Um, like Victoria's Sport. What is this one? This is Victoria's Sport too. But this one came from the actual pink side. It's cute though. That's very cute actually. It's a sweatshirt. Zips up, that's cute. Maybe I should make some like chalkboard labels or something for um for for this stuff under here. I don't know. This is a cute one too. It's a, a double decker, a double decker sports bra. You can just snap it together and then you just zip it. Cute little bag detailing. It works. It definitely works. Well, actually, I'm lying. I don't know if it works. It's still brand new. So, I'll tell y'all if it works. <laughs> oh my goodness. I love burgundies and reds and wands and all of them. This is cute. It's called the Player Racerback. The Player. <laughs> I'm a player. <laughs> Don't wait to play at the game. Okay, y'all, um, let tell you something funny. So when I was younger, like, I did not want to wear pants. Like, I hated wearing pants. Like, I wanted to wear shorts all the time, all year round, cold, rainy, sleet, snow. I wanted to wear shorts. And like, I was a tomboy too, so it was like booty shorts, but you know what I'm saying? Like shorts that came like to your knees or whatever. And that's all I wanted to wear because I'm not me, y'all. I'm not me, and I think the pants just look funny. Like when they came out with skinny jeans, like thank you God. Even though obviously I'm still not me, so you can still see it. 
it's just like I just felt like like in the other pants because they were loose like the little things would be swinging in the inside of my knees like oh we <laughs> dog it would be all weird and I just hated it like I did not want to wear pants like now I mean like I say thank God for skinny jeans but at the same time like I don't care like now I do care because I do want to get that knee surgery but I don't care enough to like not want to wear pants <laughs> I don't care enough to not want to wear pants because I mean I'm not gonna be cold because everybody gonna look at my knees like listen yes I have these knees yes I've had these knees for all these years 28 years like these are my knees until I come up with that cash to get that knee surgery and then I have like they still be the same knees but just not knock me <laughs> Dog, it'll still be the same knees, just not dog need, okay? Thank you. <laughs> oh my goodness. But of course, um of course when I told my mama that I wanted to get that surgery, she was thinking that that was not a good idea, or she's thinking still thinks that obviously she still thinks that it's not a good idea. But Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to just roll with this one. I really am. It's just coming up with that cash because Like I mean, I know life with knock knees like I don't know life without knock knees Like let me see what it is. If I don't like it, then that'll just be like a mistake that I made but at the end of the day like I already have knee problems. I already have like bad feet because of like my knees and everything else like The least I can do is not be knocking like, did you hear me when I came through the door? No, you didn't because I was not knocking and thank you. So, um, yeah, I want to get that surgery. And I've been researching it. I found a, I found a doctor's office or a surgeon's office. <laughs> I think this was called a surgeon's office that, um, you know, that performs that procedure. So, I'm gonna do it, uh, like I say, when I get that cash. So I'm excited about it for the future and I will definitely take y'all on that journey, the me getting my new knees, I might mess around and get some Megan the Stallion knees, okay. And um, I'm gonna take y'all on that journey in my recovery journey and just the whole thing and let y'all know, I'll even probably do a review on it just to let y'all know later on like, you know, six months later, a year later, like, I still love my new knees. So, <laughs> hopefully that's what I'll be saying. Hopefully I won't be saying like, bro, give me my other knees back. Like, let me knock. <laughs> let me knock. And it sucks because, well, it don't suck, but it do kind of suck to me. Uh, because my sisters are knock knee too, poor babies. Both of them are knock knee. I'm knock knee. My older brother is actually knock knee too, but you cannot tell because he's so tall and like skinny legs and all this extra. I have funny legs. They're kind of skinny too. I got very skinny ankles. But um, like you can't tell that he's knock knee. And then also probably with the shorts, the longer shorts, or whatever, you can't really tell that he's knock knee. But you see me knocking. <laughs> from a mile away you see me knocking so yeah that's something that I do want to want to work on and I'm gonna need some teeth too I did just start talking about plastic surgery and over y'all but I'm gonna give me some teeth too some veneers <laughs> so I can have that nice Hollywood smile and be like you know what I'm saying? So, um, oh, these are cute. These are some little dog with the tax too. Some little knockouts with some little leopard. I don't know if y'all can see that. Some little leopard uh, detailing. That's cute. Knockouts. The knockout capris. Very nice knockouts. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to give me some veneers. That's going to be cute. I can't wait for that. Uh, I'm going to take y'all for that journey too. I'm gonna take y'all on all these journeys because you know what? Who else coming with me? 
I mean, Messiah's gonna be there, but my mama's gonna be there, but like, I ain't got no boyfriend. I ain't got no best friends, except for y'all. So hello, best friends. Welcome to my life. Okay, hello. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Take y'all along for all these journeys. Y'all are gonna see Ariel transform into a whole new person, going through new life journeys and X, Y, Z. I always say X, Y, Z. I don't know why. And and I say and and I say like a lot. <laughs> so maybe I work on my verbal skills as well while we're here together, friends. Yeah, go from there. Oh, okay, this is my shirt. Cause I was finna say, what kind of shirt is this? Electrifying shirt. Nike, okay, Nike. We'll take that. We'll take that. I know I have more. I feel like I have more work out here. Maybe I don't. So maybe I'm lying. Maybe all this stuff will fit in here. Cause maybe this is all my work out here. Like I might have like a couple, like two or three more pairs of uh, leggings, but that might be all of it really. So I'm just gonna take this out, these pants in right here. This is kind of what we got going on. So I got bras here, black panties in this one, the colorful panties in this one. And on this side, I still got the bed pads, the pads, the, I put that red box back there. Uh, tampons, that stuff, that stuff. But then I put my, uh, oh. Then I put my tank tops and camis in this one. And then on this side, we have towels in this one. We got the workout gear in this one, the sports bras in this one, and then my socks in that one. Um, let me pull this out real quick. So, I still, my shoes, I just scooted them closer in. Still got the books up there. So, this is what it's looking like from this angle. At the weird angle. Show you another angle. Pull this one out. So yeah, I mean, these bins back there, those bins on that side, the shoe boxes of my boots in the middle, bras. So towels right here. So yeah. Okay, yeah. So my camera, or not my camera. I don't have a camera. My phone died in the middle of me recording um me filling up the bins and everything so that's why i didn't see that it kind of just skipped to me showing y'all what i had did and the changes that were made um so if you do like these kind of videos like organizing and chit-chatting and organizing <laughs> comment down below let me know if comment down below let me know how y'all feel about plastic surgery or about you know like I guess that's a, considered a cosmetic surgery, uh, my knees. So comment down below, tell me how y'all feel about that. Tell me if y'all would do something like that. Um, also comment down below, tell me if y'all want some veneers, cause I do. <laughs> and be sure to like this video, be sure to subscribe, be sure to hit that notification button, notification button on. So yes. Be sure to hit that bell this way for notifications every time I upload a new video. Be sure to, I don't know, what else? Be great, like, be great. Our gang, our gang's always great. Our gang, our gang, our gang. Our gang, our gang, our gang. Thanks for watching.